it. So let's get started. I only have 10 slides in here. I don't intend to go in. I just want to give you my own top process of how we're going to produce the Nigeria gas as soon as we can have that light off. Yeah, just that switch. Type on your phones produced in Nigeria.com, one word. And what you see is a very, very pretty green, white, and green website. And it's an e-commerce marketplace for Nigerians in the diaspora to buy Nigerian-made products and professional services for their family and friends in Nigeria. So this is how I would explain that part to you. It's going to catch up, so I'm just going to continue. I have been in Canada since the year 1996, but I come to Nigeria all the time, of course. My husband is in Nigeria. Um, one of the key things that I have always seen is the ease of things, how it's done in North America. And so when you when we come to Nigeria, people will say something like, oh, your skin is shiny, oh, you look rested, and all these things that you say we, we have as people who are coming from the other parts of the world. When you now start to take it into numbers, you will see that most of the things that we do over there is done with ease. We don't overstress ourselves. They are constantly looking for something to do to make your life better again. That is how it is. So let's go to the next side. It's an e-commerce marketplace for Nigeria. So when I start to think about it, for people in the diaspora who wants to give back to Nigeria, if you look at the statistics of Nigeria, Naira metrics, when you take off oil, what do you think is the next GDP for Nigeria? What did you say? Non-oil exports. Non-oil exports. Diaspora remittances. Diaspora remittances. We are already doing this. Money that comes out of diaspora to Nigeria, go check it yourself. It's one of the big things that has put the government of Nigeria on the pause to say, hey, hey, something is happening here. So it's already there. What we are now doing is giving every Nigerian that produces and manufactures that has service a sharehold in that. So instead of you sending money to me because you're a family member, you will send money to me and it will affect everybody here through a platform like this. That is why Produced in Nigeria came to me and like anybody else, like anybody else in our shoes, we have given it up many times because of all the challenges that we've had to face. That is why I said the first time, <laughs> it's so real that this is truly happening. So our elevator speech is this, a marketplace for Nigerians in the diaspora to buy Nigerian made products and professional services for their family and friends in Nigeria. Please let's go to the next slide. Yeah, the marketplace consists of four main categories. Next slide. So one of the first um, categories is products. The, the platform to you know, for more questions. I said there are no more questions. Because I believe the moderator wants me to answer it all together. No, no, let's just respond to these two questions. Three in one, and almost two or three, and the two screen one to the three. Okay, so one of the first ones that came up was sustenance trust. And when I hear that, I am not faced, I don't even honestly want to use the word that I don't care. The way I, I want to say it is this. You permit me to speak your body, but about it and not. It is what we have that we will we, go to Sudan. Are you treasure? If Nigerians treasure this, then they will give it the um, seriousness that it deserves. That the two of us can do it alone, not lie. That is why I'm calling on all Nigerians to be a stakeholder. Do we have it all figured out? No. But is it a good plan? Yes. Can it work? Yes. Do we have um, 
examples of those who did it and it worked? Yes. Think of China for a quick second. Do you know what Alibaba did for China? All these China products that you are seeing all over the world, where do you think it started from? Alibaba. And when it started, you only got 10 people and said, trust me, this is my idea, this is what I think is going to work. Invest in me. They took a chance on him. How many countries do you know produces like China now? Let's go back into history. Because Chinese government saw it. The Chinese, uh, average Chinese man, saw it too. Everybody jumped in. I will say to Nigerians, let's put trust aside for now. All I'm asking you to do is jump in. Become a stakeholder. See it from not now, 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 now. That's our culture of now, now, now. What can I get from it? That is one thing that we need to start educating ourselves to stay away from. And then look at it from the bigger picture. Then, after maybe 10 years, come and ask me again. And I'm sure that the question is going to be different. The sustenance of this is in the hands of every Nigerian. And the trust is if you can trust yourself, then you can trust me. Because I'm asking you to come and be part of this. Yes. Yes. Right now we are on the, the DPS, 
which is a, 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 a virtual private server. And it's not too, too bad, but where we're going is our own servers for us to be able to accommodate everybody. But again, everything is step by step. If we go and do those servers for now, we will be opening ourselves to a lot of hacking attacks. So um, then we learn as we go along. So yes, it is a little slower for it, but right now it serves the purpose that we need. And as we grow, it will grow with us. Have I answered that question? Um, the government involvement, my husband is a better um, person to answer that, so I'm just going to give it back now. Um, to build on what she has uh, said, and um, to, to take from what uh, the question the brother asked about electronics in bed in Nigeria. Yeah, while we were growing up, you know, I can remember Adebo Wadi electronics, Debo fridge, very high quality electronics produced in Nigeria. Produced in Nigeria. Fantastic uh, electronics. I think for a lay table. They are producing so. That's a question. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's our, our situation. But that's that's exactly what we're trying to do with produce in Nigeria. So with produce in Nigeria, we want to change the economic landscape of Nigeria. Where I will go back to our indigenous manufacturing of things we need. We won't need to be relying on foreign to be producing for us. What we do, we have talents here, creative people. Like my sister just said, talked about somebody who produced the foreign generator. What are we doing to encourage this person? What are we doing to showcase them? Put their creativity to the whole world. And that, that is what really the trade flair that we are talking about. So we open it up, let's showcase Nigerian talents, the abundance of what we have, the potentials that have been so big, we want to unlock them and then showcase them to the whole world. So with this spoiler generation, when you have a lot of in Nigeria, then the government you cannot call sources for technical partners, funders that will assist this particular brand. And then at that time, sure. So at that time, we will be self-reliant on our own local consumption. So it's not a tall order for us to produce quality electronics, quality cars, hot mobiles, and everything we need to run our daily life and businesses in Nigeria. Government involvement. I need to the right side now. What is that about? The question I understood when she said about the government involvement. This government, the government, this is the time to talk to to ourselves. As it is now, like my brother talked about listening to the president and everything, you will know these people need help. And the help we can offer is telling them that we have solutions. I've always believed the best way to make wealth is by creating solutions. So it makes you fulfilling and sustainable. So know that. We can't put anything on the government. So we have to, what God has disposed in us, let's showcase that we need to assist the government. But at this time, we will now just wait on the government. But when governments see what we are doing, that people, we are visionary, we know what we're doing, they have to now come in and get into it. Because we're helping them solve problems.